Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you how Valheim seeds work and we're also going to look at a few different ones so you can find one that starts with the world that you'd like. And it can actually be really, really fun to look at the map before you start playing and kind of give yourself what, what you're looking for in that playthrough. And then you load it up and you don't look at the map anymore. And that's what I encourage you to do. So we're going to explore a couple seeds. But before we get into that, let's look at the seeds themselves. Because maybe you're new to Valheim. You're an Xbox player or something like that. And you want to learn how this works. So when you make a world in Valheim, and anytime you play, you're, you're playing on someone's world, right? It's like this. This is where you do it. You just pick two things. The name of the world, like, let's say, Earth. Okay, the name of this world is Earth. And then the seed. And this part, this, is very important. Every single character there makes a unique Valheim world. So this is a totally different world than this. That's where this Valheim map world tool comes in. Here, we can just type in a seed. For example, let's do DOD, like we were just looking, and then click go. It'll take a minute to load, and then it'll just show you the overview of that world, right? So, we can see here, this is what that world looks like. You can look at the location of basically anything that gets spawned, but you don't have to do that, and there's no reason to, because you really don't want to screw up your playthrough. Again, you're trying to do this and enhance your playthrough, not destroy it, right? So let's look here. This is really cool. If, if you want danger and wolves and mountains, then this is a great starting area. And what's great about this tool is you can just change stuff, right? So let's change it again. I just changed one letter, right? Instead of D-O-D, it's D-O-G. Boom. Look at that. Does this look similar to you at all? I mean, look. <laughs> it's got this cool mountain range right here in like a circle. This is actually really cool. The spawn's right here on this river. Like, I, I like this a lot. That's actually a pretty cool starting place. It's cool when the spawns are like, the starting area is accessible by the water. Because in Valheim, it's a lot of boats and traveling. So being near the water is good. And if you're on the PC, then you can find the seed by actually uploading the world itself to this Valheim World Generator website. And then it'll basically just show you the world, okay? So you don't actually need to find the seed. If you have the file, you can just upload it and get it. Or you can look here. If you're on Xbox, then you need to look at the world that you make, right? Because on Xbox, you basically make a world and anyone can join your world while you're there. But if you leave, they can't like mess with your world or even join and build something, right? That's why having a dedicated server is kind of cool because it makes it more open. And like you could log off, stop playing and then log on like a day later and someone's built like a whole bunch of stuff. And for me, that I love that. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite parts of Alheim, which is why I'm so... To give you a sense of what different seeds look like, I've compiled a list. So we're going to start with seeds that have swamps on the starting continent. Bingo. Here's another one called Light. There's a swamp down over here. Next we have Gnarl. This one has iron on the starting continent and also a traitor somewhere here. I'm not showing it to you. But trust me, it's there. Then we have huge. This one is a longer continent with mountains, plains, swamps with iron, and the trader on this continent somewhere. Next, we have Jiggle. I was inspired by Jigglypuff. This seed has a lot of mountains in it. Here we have part Zer 12. Another seed with a lot of mountains. And here we have Hug, a third seed with a lot of mountains. Next we have Ringo Swam, and this has a good amount of plains that are pretty close to the spawn. 
because of the way Valheim spawns and makes the world, you can't really get planes that are actually in the center of the world. The, the closest you'll ever find them is right here. So the best you can get is a continent that you can travel to by land and reach an area with a lot of planes, which is what this is. You have to cross a little bit of a river here, but that's eh, fine. And now we have my favorite seed, which is Rito. This seed is awesome because I like these long continents that stretch from one side of the map to the other. And if we go over here, there's a continent that starts in the Ashlands, goes all the way up here. It's Mislins, Plains, Mislins, Plains, Plains, Swamp, Meadows, Plains. You see that? It goes from all the way over here to the Ashlands. It's over half of the distance to the edge of the world. And then if you just cross this little area, then you can go all the way to the deep north. So I've been making sort of a server that has a really long path that goes all the way over here, but I'm not really trying to put too much work into that until the deep north and the ashlands come out, because that's when it'll actually be really cool to have a path that connects the deep north to the ashlands, you know? And you could do that on this seed. And that's it. That's the basis of world seeds. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support my work, consider checking out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated server so people can join and play on your world whenever they want. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.